Hello, back again. Our statement reads, a short cylinder of radius A and length L carries a, quote, frozen in uniform polarization P, parallel to its axis. Find the bound charge and sketch the electric field for the following cases. For L much greater than A, for L much less than A, and for L approximately A. Things to know for this problem are the surface bound charge and the volume bound charge. For the solution, let's understand what our configuration is. A cylinder is just a shell, so intuitively we should know that all we're going to be left with is a surface bound charge, not a volume bound charge. And indeed, when we go through the math, that's what we see. For the surface bound charge, P dot N hat, N can be either positive or negative depending on which way you take to be the normal direction, i.e. are you pointing with the polarization or against it. Just mark it on your diagram. The volume bound charge is zero, because again, if, even if we tried plugging in the math, all we would be doing is taking the derivative of a constant, whether the constant is zero or some random scalar. The derivative of a constant is still zero, and our volume is zero, so it all makes sense. For case 1, where L is much, much greater than A, the endpoints look like point charges, and the whole thing looks like a physical dipole of length L and charge P times pi A squared. And if you look at the diagram, that's what we see, where the dipole goes from negative to positive, but the E field runs from positive to negative in a circular fashion, as seen here. For case 2, where L is much, much less than A, then it looks like a parallel plate capacitor, a circular one. Where the field inside it looks pretty uniform, as you can see by the tightly compact arrows in the diagram, but the, there is a non-uniform fringing field at the edges. We say that it's non-uniform because each of these fields goes in a bigger circle than the last one, and they're all concentric, and they keep circling in on one another at varying magnitudes and distances. For the last case, where L is approximately A, we can kind of see how things come to a happy medium, where the electric field seems to be pretty uniform amongst the cylinder, as we see in the diagram below.